peeps, Phil here from MTG Kiwi Philosophy here again, bringing you yet another M19 core set pre-release kit opening. Here we go, let's see what we can build with this sealed deck. Let's go, let's go. I want a Najani or a Vivian, or for that matter, any of the planeswalkers would be good. So uh, let's get cracking anyway. And of course our lovely box, we have a green spin down. We have our lovely six boosters. We have our divider, our how-to guide. And of course our foil is Vivian's Invocation. Alright, let's chuck it over there. We've got ourselves a lovely green card. And we get into our first pack. And we'll go through these here. Uh, Uncomfortable Chill. Catalyst Elemental. Rustwing Falcon. First Removal Disperse. A Highland Game. Bulk Stomper. Marauder's Axe. Shock, Totally Lost, Centaur Corsair, our first uncommon is Garapur Guide, okay, that's not super great, Double Cast, uh, if we get more spells it might be worthwhile, our Fel Spectre, and our, we've got a Jewel Land, an Avatar Token, and our rare is Psy Master Thopterist. It is a 3 drop legendary 1 4 human artificer. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1 1 Thopter. You can sacrifice 2 artifacts to draw a card. Alright, well, it's a legendary creature. That's something. I'll have to apologize in advance, I guess, because I have got the flu at the moment and it's going to be a, a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit stuffy, so I might end up. Um, doing a, a voiceover on this if I have to. Alright, well, here's our first card, and that is Act of Treason, which is not terrible with Sacrificial Creatures. We have a Daybreak Chaplain, Scholar of the Stars, Tormenting Voice, Hired Blade, Talons of the Wildwood, Wall of Vines, Sky March Blood Letter, Field Creeper, Good old Dreadmore. Our first uncommon is Make a Stand. Druid of the Horns. Plague Mare. And we have a <laughs> really shitty rear. Oh, good. Uh, it is Dismissive Pyromancer. And Dismissive Pyromancer is a 2 2 wizard that you pay one red, discard a card, draw a card, so you can loot, or you can pay three and sacrifice the Pyromancer, and it deals four damage to target creature. So at this point, uh, it looks like our colours are uh, evenly spread between green, blue, red and black and white is looking a little bit weak. Uh, let's get into our third pack and in our third pack we have a Rustwing Falcon, a Tellurian Scholar, another Act of Treason, Epicure of Blood, Titanic Growth, Electrify, so that's two red removals. Walking Corpse, Angel of Dawn, always good, always good, the Angel of Dawn. Vecino Pyromancer, I like that card, it's very aggressive. Salvager of Secrets. <sighs> okay, first uncommon is Ether Shield Artificer. I played against that online, and if you've got the artifacts, that is a really good card. Uh, yes, another piece of red removal, it is fantastic, a lightning strike. And a good old switcheroo. And of course, we have a, a forest and a zombie token. And our rear is Isolate. It's a one drop instant speed exile target permanent with a converted mana cost of one. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's make a good comeback with these last three packs. This is a very vanilla pack so far, and I'm not totally happy. Our first card in our new pack is. Knight's Pledge, we then have an Anticipate, Onaki Ogre, our Greenwood Sentinel, 
a two-headed zombie, which is also uh, surprisingly quite menacing, so to speak. Elvis Rejuvenate is not terrible. Even Wind Mage with Prowess, kind of. A uh, Explosive Apparatus. Luminous Bonds, there's another piece of removal. Is our first uncommon is Ether Tunnel. We also have a Surge Mirror, a Diagraph Ghoul, and our uncommon, and we have a foil. So we have a foil Catalyst Elemental, Mountain, and a Dragon Token. And our rear is Open the Graves. It's a five drop enchantment. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, create a 2 2 black zombie token. Not terrible, not terrible, but not great. It's an improvement of my last, well, <laughs> three rears. Alright, third pack, fourth pack. Here we go, fourth pack, Scholar of Stars. Tormenting Voice. Dwarven Priest. Cancel. Juress. Giant Spider. Epicure of Blood. Avon Wind Mage. Cavalry Drillmaster, that's not terrible either, that's not bad. Spark Tongue Dragon, that's playable. Our first uncommon is Dragon Egg. Our second uncommon is Ghast Buck Twins, not super stoked on that. We have a Gargoyle Sentinel, which is okay, and yet another dud rear. We have Detection Tower. It's a land, pay one for colors, or you can pay one and tap until the end of the turn. Opponent's creatures. Your opponent's control, they have Hexproof, they can... Okay, so they lose Hexproof, which is... Yeah. This is going to be a very, very mediocre deck we're going to be making here. So please, be patient with this deck build. <laughs> Alright, first of the last pack. Sure Strike. Mighty Leap. Omen Speaker. Goblin Instigator, so that's not terrible. Oak Form. Epicure of Blood, that's three Epicures of Blood, but not much uh, not uh, much Life Matters stuff. Um, okay, that was a Titanic Growth. We have a Crash Through. Another Avon Wind Mage. I think that's our third one of those. So, Cavalry Drill Master again, that's not bad. Our first our common is, uh, okay, is Rupture Spire. So, a bit of fixing. Stitch Supplier. A Dryad, Green Seeker, and our rear is Sigil, Sword of Valorond. Okay, well, I'm going to go through the process of elimination and then I will upload the uh, results and when we're finished we'll come back and you can see what I've done. Alright, peace out, we'll see you soon. Alright, welcome back guys, and this is what we've gone with. So we've gone with a red-white Boros aggro deck with a splash for blue. And we're going to go with two Rustwing Falcons. So we can get it nice and early, and we're going to follow that up with a Shock as well. We're going to go with a Field Creeper. Two Cavalry Drill Masters, because they're really good with the ETB triggers entering the battlefield, giving creatures plus two in first strike. So that's really aggressive as well. We have our Daybreaker in there as well, so that we can gain a little bit of life. Our Dismissive Pyromancer for looting and for removal for creatures. Our Vecino Pyromancer's there for aggression to the face, so we get that damage in there. And uh, it's also a good blocker. We also have the Instigator, which is good for having uh, two 1 1 creatures for two. We have got some uh, extra boost for our creatures with the Marauder's Axe. Uh, lightning Strike and a Shore Strike, which is also good for us. Uh, in our three drop creatures, we've got a Gargoyle Sentinel, which is pretty good. Uh, it's a 3 3 defender, but we can uh, pay three in the late game where we've got all that mana sitting around and give it flying and swing in. Uh, the same thing with the Dragon Egg. The Dragon Egg, we can uh, defend it, we can kill it, and then we can just create ourselves a flying, pumpable dragon, which is fantastic. And we've got a Luminous Bonds, a Sigiled Sword. And those are our three drop spells we're going to do there. And our four drop creatures, we have 
Dwarven Priest, which is a very vanilla creature, but the ability with the amount of low creatures we've got here is going to allow us to maybe gain up to three to four life, hopefully, when it enters the battlefield. Now, the Ether Shield Artificer is in there. We do only have two artifact creatures, but a 3-3 three, three for four is not terrible anyway, and if we can get it to trigger onto a Flying Sentinel, making it 5-5 five, five, and indestructible, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Uh, four drop spells. We've got Electrify, which is fantastic. It's another removal spell for our opponent's creatures, which is great. And getting into our five drops, we've got the Angel of Dawn, which is which has got the ETB when it enters the battlefield. All our creatures will gain plus one in Vigilance, which is not terrible because a Rustwing Falcon, Falcon flying in as a two three, and possibly with a Marauder's Axe or a Sigil attached to it, it's going to be you know four four damage there. So which, which is really good. Uh, we also have a Spark Tongue Dragon, which is a really great late game if we can afford to cast it. We can do that extra. Uh, three damage to any table which isn't too bad and then our splash of course is for switcheroo now switcheroo is pretty good we can swap one of our lazy goblin instigators uh, tokens to our opponent and uh, of course we've got our fixing for that which we have the meadowing river and we've also got our rupture spire which is going to help with that as well okay well that's it for here and i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you've enjoyed this and we'll yeah, see you next time all right well. Peace out. Ciao.